What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to download and set up Minecraft Forge for Minecraft 1.20. The latest release of Forge released just a few hours ago, and to install it, all you need to do is head to the link in the description down below to download Minecraft Forge 1.20. Just make sure you have 1.20 expanded and 1.20 selected on the left here, then click Install it to download it. You'll need to wait for and skip the ad and choose somewhere to save it. I'll save it to my downloads folder. And when it's done, we can simply open up our downloads folder. Now, if for some reason this file has no icon or when you double click on it, nothing happens. If you see Java platform SE binary or Java something, you can open it up this way and you should see an installer that looks like this. Otherwise, if you don't, you'll find a link to download and install the Java JDK in the description down below, which should allow you to fix this. Now, when you see this pop up, simply click install client and choose OK. Waiting for the download to finish, then we'll click OK and fire up the Minecraft launcher. From the drop down here, you should see Forge available for 1.20. You can select it and play it. However, I would highly recommend raising the amount of RAM that you're giving the game. So head to the installations tab at the very top, then look for Forge, click the three dots next to it and choose edit. Now inside of him, scroll down and choose more options. Scrolling down further, you'll see XMX 2G, which means the maximum amount of RAM we can give Minecraft Forge is two gigabytes. Now you can change this to be four, six, however much free RAM you have in your system. It needs to be unused RAM rather than used. Used. Heading to the performance tab, followed by memory in my task manager, which you can open up with control shift and escape, you'll see your total amount of RAM in the top right, as well as a usage graph here and how much is currently available. You can give Minecraft as much as you want of your available RAM, though do keep in mind how the programs running on your system may use up RAM and eventually cause everything to fill up and crash. Don't give it too much, but feel free to raise it above too. Because I have a ludicrous amount of RAM, I'll comfortably raise this to 16 and click save. Now we can go ahead and fire up Minecraft Forge 1.20, tick this box, play, and when it eventually starts up, you'll see that it's currently a Forge beta as the release for 1.20 came literally last night. And of course, in the bottom right that we have Minecraft and Forge installed. Super simple. You can head to the mods section and see what mods you currently have installed, click between them and open the mods folder, which will open this folder here. As you can see, I currently have some fabric mods, but they'll be ignored by Forge for the most part. And if you're running fabric separately, you may need to remove or at least move your fabric mods in order to switch between forge and fabric. You can also get here by typing in percentage app data percentage slash dot Minecraft into your run dialog. You can hold start and press R to bring up this window. Okay, then open up the mods folder and we're back here. Anyways, that's about all you need to do. You now successfully have Minecraft forge installed and you're able to start modding it, which is great. So thank you all for watching this super quick guide. My name has been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.